Hi, my name is Liz Friedman, and I wrote this upcoming episode of House, Carrot or Stick. I was interested in the idea of uh, disciplinary boot camps and looking at them as places where, on the one hand, are they just sort of, uh, you know, overly rigid uh, abuse factories that create more problems for kids who are already having plenty of problems, or are they really an appropriate sort of last-ditch situation for kids who are in real trouble and, uh, you know, and wanting to look at that as an issue and then finding an interesting character story to put in the middle of that. The teaser was fantastic um, and we were uh, lucky enough, I, I use that term in sort of quotes, because uh, we did have rain machines present. We were generating our own rain, but we were lucky enough to have Mother Nature out there dumping loads of real rain on us. So it really gave it a thickness you don't ordinarily get with a rain machine. As somebody who was out there for 12 hours that day, let me tell you that's a fantastic experience when you get to spend 12 hours all huddled together standing in the rain with more rain when the camera's running. Um, but uh, you know what? It looked great, so I'd rather have it that way. What I think was important about doing this Cuddy and House relationship story and where I think, I hope we've been successful, is that he's not a different person in this relationship. He may be doing things that look a lot like what some a normal, caring, loving person in a relationship would do, but he's it, he hasn't become a different person. He's still House. He's still looking out for himself. I like the idea of House doing something to help Cuddy get what she wants and that really seems to be, and, and maybe even is, to help Rachel get into a very good school, but is really about gaming the system. You know, it's about how do I, how do I cheat this kid into a preschool? And, you know, the fact is he, he, he doesn't really like Rachel. And it's nothing that personal against Rachel. He's not a fan of kids. And, he doesn't think she's the smartest kid in the world. So he's perfectly willing to um, train her like a dog if that's what is necessary to get her into this preschool. Chase's story is about, is about sleeping with so many women and running around having so much fun that he actually misses a moment of substance, you know, that he could have had. The naked picture actually came from, initially it was going to be a picture of his butt. And, uh, you know, it was, I have to give credit to Tommy Moran, who said, I don't know, I don't think it'd be that big of a deal. So I sort of went away and thought about it and went, well, what if it was, well, what if it was the front? And what if it was someone who made him look like, you know, well, Chase is a diminutive gentleman, shall we say. Uh, you know, so I went back to Tommy and said, would that be embarrassing? And, um... Well, needless to say, I got the go-ahead with that. I liked the idea of, uh, you know, social networking turning against you. I think that's something we all live in fear of, not to mention, um, you know, uh, putting your business in too many places, coming back to get you. We've had a little bit of a run, so let's see. So, yeah, Chase and Cameron, they broke up. Then 13 and Form, and that didn't really work out. Um, Wilson was happy for like a minute, right? And then, and then they, they actually, he was probably happy for a little bit longer this time, so just so we could get him used to it. Then that didn't really work out. This is not a land of happy people. Uh, you know, and, and the irony is that right now, House is actually making it work for the moment. Um, you know, I think we have a, we have a show that's populated with, uh, very strong, very smart, and very stubborn people, and they're not really that willing to change who they are. And uh, let me just tell you, having having been in a relationship for 18 years now, compromise, 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 agree on the important stuff, and fold on everything else. That is the advice I give to you in real life. It is advice that our characters, God bless them, are incapable of taking.